Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another great hack for you. Now this time we are using reusable stencils and this is great for both Cricut and Silhouette users. So if that rings your bell, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. But for now, we're gonna use our stencils to make these cute little felt flowers. All right guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Now I've just opened up a brand new canvas. Um, so you can do that by going to new project or you know, if you need help getting started in Cricut Design Space, we do have a really great video for you already on the YouTube channel. So be sure to check it out. But for today, we're gonna go ahead and start by uploading our SVG file. So I'm gonna come down here in the bottom left hand side and click upload, upload image and then browse. Now I am in my downloads folder and I have already downloaded and unzipped this file that we're going to work with today. And these are um, flower templates and each one is listed individually if you want to check those out. But I'm going to go ahead and import all flower templates here. So what that's going to do is give me all of them in one place. I'm going to go ahead and click upload. That adds it to my recent upload. So select it and choose add to canvas. Now what I can do and the reason I wanted to go ahead and bring them all into the workspace is I want to check them all out because for our project today, they are not all created equal. What I mean by that is there's a certain part of our project today that we are going to be cutting by hand. So we get a little spoiled using our cutting machines because they can handle all the intricate cuts for us. But for today's project, we're not going to rely on that. And we do have a little bit of hands on. So I want to choose the simple, files. Okay. I want to choose the simple, uh, types of flowers that we're working with here. Okay. So let's go to start by ungrouping and I can tell you right off the bat, I do not want this one. So I need to pick out three. Okay. Um, so just looking at them, it looks like the top three or my choices will be here, here, and here. They look the easiest to cut. So we can select these other ones and delete them as well. Now I am working with a nine by 12 sheet of acetate. And I know that, um, cause I found a chart online. Um, I know that if my flower size here is roughly nine inches, then once I roll it up, it will be roughly two inches. So that's what I'm going off of. So I'm going to go ahead and make my width eight and a half. I know you said, well, Becky, you just said nine. I know, but my acetate is only nine inches. So I'm going to go a little smaller. So we will say eight and a half. Actually to be on the safe side, let's just do eight. We'll do an even eight. So I'm going to size those by just selecting them and typing them in up here, eight inches wide. Okay. So let's go ahead and go over to make it. Um, luckily, this part is very, very easy. We're cutting on a mat today and there's nothing else we need to do here. You can always check it out over here and see, um, you know, cause obviously our nine inches. So we are within that and that should be the case on all three of them. Well, we don't have to mirror or do anything special. So let's hit continue. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to our maker three Now we're cutting on a maker three. And I just want to say that the makers do have the rotary blade. So you may be asking, well, Becky, if you're cutting on a maker, um, why are you going to cut a stencil and cut this by hand? Well, because not all of you guys are working on a maker and, or you may not have a rotary blade available. Okay. So we're making some stencils today and all of that will make a little bit more sense once we get to working on the project. Now for my Cricut users, you will see that you have, if you type in acetate, you have a preset for acetate right there. So you choose done and you can literally go over there and start cutting out your stencils. Luckily for all of my silhouette users, I can also tell you that if you choose the cardstock textured setting, okay, in your cut settings, go to the material called cardstock textured, Use those settings, but set it to two passes. 
Okay. Whereas Cricut Design Space takes care of that for us. It automatically has the pressure set um, and it also has three passes. The, um, the Silhouette Cameo users, you guys don't have a preset. And that's okay because we have tried it for you and that cardstock textured at two passes should work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the machine and show you about loading on the acetate sheets and cutting them out to use with our project. All right, guys, so what we have here is some nice felt sheets, okay? Nothing super special about them, just some nice, fun uh, spring slash summer colors, okay? And then these are the star of the show today. These are acetate sheets, okay? So what they are is this nice, clear film and you can cut it using your Cricut or Silhouette cutting machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it on the mat because we have already set up our design. Smooth it down. And then we will load it up. Now remember that um, this material type is going to take multiple passes. So don't be alarmed if it seems like, you know, it, it should be done, but it's not because the multiple passes are going to take a long time. So we are going to cut um, two patterns today. And then, of course, I will show you about using the stencil part and about making our rolled flowers. So once cutting is complete, now, you know, I always double check before I unload the mat, but... Basically, you can just pull back the outside piece and go ahead and start weeding it off of the cutting mat. Now, what you're left with is actually you end up with two stencils because both of these will work. But you have a nice, flexible piece of acetate that now has the shape. Eventually, I'm going to get it has the shape of your flower. Okay. But... I like to use the inside piece that's left. So you can start pretty much from anywhere. And just carefully remove this acetate stencil. And these are the three that we've cut. Now I know they're a little hard to see uh, because they are clear, but they are nice and durable. And this is what I wanted to show you what I'm using them for today. Now this is a fabric chalk. Okay, it comes in many different colors. This was a multi-pack that I picked up um, from Amazon, but I use the yellow. You can tell um, they are fairly thin, so be careful when you're using them because I broke mine, but I can use it to trace the outline of this stencil onto my felt. Now, the same can be done with marker or pen, um, but I liked the chalk because you can easily remove it. Okay, so I don't have to worry about the edges of my flowers um, having, you know, dark pen or anything like that. So I've already done this one. Let me show you, like, all I'm going to do is put this in the middle of my felt and then use the chalk and trace around the outside. Now, is this the quickest thing that can be done? Uh, probably not, because if you happen to have a Maker or a Cameo um, 4, then you have the rotary blade that can cut the felt for you. But in case you do not have a rotary blade or you don't have a machine that has that capability, this is a pretty easy way to repeatedly cut shapes out of material that you would not normally be able to cut. Okay, and that's the key here, because I could have done this and um, I've done this with freezer paper. You could do it even with regular copy paper, anything that you can cut and then trace, but these stencils will be reusable. So in case cutting uh, rolled flowers is my jam, then I will be able to use these stencils over and over and over. Now I have done this to um, the pink and the yellow chalk, okay? But there's also, like I said, a ton of different colors. And I've done this with the flower shapes, but I could easily do this with leaves or any other type of shape that I want to be able to create with this. Now, I can also, and, and this doesn't require stencil, but in case I have an artistic edge, I can also go ahead and trace out some leaf shapes with my chalk. 
Okay, that way I don't have to worry about, you know, oh, am I trying to freehand with my scissors? Okay, I can get just a little bit going here. And we don't need a lot of leaves. So we'll just draw some out. And then I'm gonna do one more on this nice um, light blue turquoise. Another great thing about using the clear acetate sheets is that um, they are clear. So if you wanted to do this with fabric, you would be able to line up um, any parts of the pattern that you want. Because sometimes that can be frustrating, even though you can cut fabric with your cutting machine. Um, you know, if you want a certain part of the fabric, a certain part of the pattern, then, uh, you know, you can't really line that up unless you're cutting by hand. Also, these stencils can easily be used for um, painting, okay? One thing I like in particular is like if I'm going to paint a pattern, um, I did a burlap table runner one year for um, spring and Easter, and I was able to cut um, some flowers out, and then I could easily dab on the paint, move my stencil, and reuse it over and over. So there's definitely a lot of uses for being able to create your own stencils out of something, you know, really quick and inexpensive like these sheets are. So once all of my stenciling is complete, I can just grab some scissors and go ahead and cut out my flowers. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is follow the chalk, cut them out. Not the easiest thing, um, you know, because cutting by hand still involves some pretty hard work, but um, what I like to do is most flowers have one edge on the inside that is straight, and then one edge that has the petals. So I try to follow along the inside, and your cutting doesn't have to be perfect, okay? My stenciling wasn't perfect, my cutting doesn't have to be perfect, especially on the side that's gonna go on the bottom. But felt flowers are just really um, cute and a nice relaxed craft for me. It's not something I take too, too seriously. This hand cutting and hand tracing that we've done is the reason why I like to pick the simpler flowers to use. That way there's not a lot of pressure to get, you know, a lot of angles and a lot of, you know, tight spaces with your scissors. So once that's cut, you can see it is a nice, there we go, rolled flower design. And overall, it doesn't take too terribly long. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have just a pair of tweezers and I'm going to start at one end I'm just going to pinch and start rolling. And what I like to do is go ahead and keep my finger at the edge. And as I'm rolling, it'll help me to determine right here that I'm getting a flat bottom. And this will be my flower. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my hot glue gun. And I'm gonna use a fair amount because I don't want this to um, unravel. And I'm going to cover it with that little flap at the end. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure. That'll also help to kind of spread my flower out. Okay, and then there's one really cute rolled flower. So I'm gonna do these other two, and then I'm gonna show you what we're going to do with these flowers. All right, guys, so you remember our cute stenciled wood round, right? And of course, I've got some leaves here, but what we're going to do is I just got an approximate layout of where I want things. And this one, I'm not really sure about. I'm not sure that I'm gonna use this one. So, uh, but better to go ahead and have too many than not enough but I have three leaves each and two very colorful spring flowers. So what I'm going to do is just use my hot glue gun and I'm gonna go ahead and use just a little bit and go ahead and put these leaves in place. Okay, so just like this, just a little dab of hot glue. Okay, so now that those are attached together, I'm going to, what I wanna do is pick up my flower and slide it under. That way I can get an approximate of where I want it to be. Just gonna pick it up, put a larger dab of hot glue, and just push it right back down into place. And then I can take my flower, 
put some hot glue on the bottom of that. And I just wanna make sure it overlaps ever so slightly onto my leaves. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing here. I want my leaves there. So I move my flower, peel up the tip of my leaves, a little dab of hot glue, put those in place. And then hot glue on the bottom of my flower. Go ahead and slide it into place right there. And there we go. So we have some nice felt flower accents for our stenciled wood round. And, you know, what I would like to do, I think, is I might go back and cut some of these in a smaller size and, and do some over here. But I think this one, this is the one that was flat, that was straight all the way around. And I just couldn't fluff it up to make it look like I wanted it to look. So I'll grab some more of these, maybe in a smaller size, and put them over here on the side. Um, or I could just come in and decorate with some leaves. So whatever you decide, and it will be super cute. So guys, how did you feel about our felt flower project? Now, I know we used felt, I know we used roll flowers, but don't forget the star of the show today is making those acetate reusable stencils. So definitely a lot of purposes. I know that you guys will store this little nugget of information right back there and bring it out again and again. Because like I said, you can use it for painting. You can use it for these items that maybe you can't cut with your cutting machine. There's just a really, a lot of really great things that you can do. So if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you and make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos. But guys, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate you and we'll see you again next time.